Hi guys, in this lecture, I'm going to show you how to install PostgreSQL and PJ Admin 4 on Windows 11 operating system. But first of all, I need to open the Google Chrome browser and in the search bar, I will type download PostgreSQL and then I'm going to click this link postgresql.org slash downloads. I will click this link and afterwards, I'm going to pick select the operating system since my operating system is Windows 11. So I'm going to select this Windows operating system. Okay. After that, I'm going to click this download the installer. So this is going to download the exe file. Okay. Afterwards, I have to pick the version. So I'm going to pick the latest version of PostgreSQL and my operating system is windows okay so i will click here and this will start the download process okay now begin a few seconds it will begin a few seconds okay now i'm going to save it in my downloads save and look the download process is started so it will take some time to complete okay so after taking some time, the download process has been completed. So I'm going to now open the exe file. So I will click this exe file and this will start the installation process. Okay. Click yes. Okay. Click next. So this is where it will be installed. Click next. Now I'm going to install all these four components. Uh, now, if I don't want to install the stack builder, I don't want this. Okay, just uncheck this option. Click next and click next. So please provide a password for this database super user. So I'm going to set the password. So, so you need to set the password, whatever you want. Okay, click next, click next. Okay, click next and click next next and this will start the installation process it will take some time uh, to complete so the installation process uh, has been completed so it will take around three to four minutes to complete. Now I'm going to click finish. Okay. So now I will go in the search bar and I will type uh, PJ for PJ admin four. Okay. And then I'm going to click this and this will, this is going to open uh, the window here. And what next I'm going to do, I'm going to create a database and then I will create a new table using this uh, GUI interface PJ admin for okay now uh, let me just provide the password so here I'm going to provide the password which I have just recently set okay save this password and click ok now what next I need to do uh, this is the default database I'm going to create a new database and I will create a new table in my database. Okay, create database and I will name the database as uh, DWH project is going to be the name of my database. Okay, and then definition, security, parameters, advanced SQL. So this is going to be the SQL statement for creating a new database. So I will create save and this will automatically create a new uh, database for me. Okay. Next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new table here. So for that, I need to open the query tool first in the query tool. So I am connected to this database DWH project. So when I'm going to create a new table, a new table will be created in my database DWH project. Okay. So now let's create a new table, create table employee and attributes of columns of this table will be first will be employee ID, integer, 
and the second is going to be name var char let's say 30 and then department var char let's say 30 and then afterwards uh, last but not the least column salary is going to be my last column and it will be int type okay so i'm going to create this table and i will click this execute script and this will create a table for me okay now i'm going to insert some values in my table i will use the insert statement insert into employee and table name i will provide and then i will use the keyword values afterwards i'm going to provide the value first will be the uh, employee id which is integer type second will be name let's say john is my name third will be department for instance de department de stands for data engineering okay de and then last is going to be salary of john 10000 will be the salary and now i'm going to execute this statement and i will click execute script okay now i need to select this table select just copy and paste it over here and just execute this statement and execute one row has been inserted okay this is the data which is in in the table so i hope you are having a good understanding uh, in the end i would request you to please subscribe to my youtube channel hit the like button and most importantly please press the bell icon so that you get to know my latest videos and updates Thank you so much and have a great learning.